<laughs> Joe Biden busted again twice in two days. This is the kind of potential criminality I totally expect from a Biden, quite frankly. Yeah, a new batch of classified material found somewhere. At least one more a trove of classified documents found in a new, as of yet, undisclosed location. And we have got to hand it to the temporarily not fake news over at NBC for breaking the story. Aides to President Biden have apparently discovered another set of classified documents, this time in a different location than the office where the first batch was discovered, according to a person familiar with the matter. Guys leaving classified documents that he was not authorized to have all over town or all over the eastern seaboard. Let's take a look at where these documents could be. Reasonable suspicion suggests that they could be at Joe Biden's Wilmington home. They could be at Joe Biden's uh, McLean, Virginia. He had a mansion there for a while. Uh, let's see. It could be at the Beach House. Joe Biden has had numerous offices, one on K Street where all the lobbyists hang out, along with his son, Hunter. They had an office there. This spooky place may be there. That's the University of Pennsylvania Biden Center North, the one in Philadelphia. Uh, there's the Joe Biden Center at uh, Delaware, which is apparently somebody's house. Uh, where are the documents? Where are these documents? Um, I hope they check out Hunter Biden's uh, facilities. He was working very closely with Joe. It's one of the reasons why they posed for these silly pictures. It was a commercial for how close Hunter Biden was to his father. If you want to do business, go see Hunter. It's as good as seeing the president. Seriously, what grown men make out like that when they're related? It's weird. It was a commercial. I'm not kidding. Now, the University of Pennsylvania Biden Center, quick review about, well, how swampy this arrangement was, okay? Joe Biden received 900,000 to do what? <laughs> the very, very vague work of the Biden pen uh, organization. Take a look. According to the website, based in our nation's capital, the Penn Biden Center engages more of our fellow citizens in shaping this world while ensuring the gains of global engagement are widely shared. Talk about half-baked and phony, huh? And if you think, if that's not half-baked and phony enough for you, take a look at this. The Penn Biden Center's Penn's home in Washington, D.C. It is incredibly important that we be there to be at the center of shaping the national policy debate about our place in the world. We want this to be a gathering place, a gathering place for people with good ideas and people who want to learn and uh, to be exposed to policymakers here and abroad. A gathering place, a gathering place. We already have Starbucks. What is this? What is this? And we can tell a photo op when we see one, and that's Joe Biden's life. Let me tell you what they really do, and they hint at it just a little bit. Our vision is clear. The Penn Biden Center for Diplomacy and Global Engagement will be the most powerful and purposeful voice for democracy, for international cooperation, and for good in the world. <laughs> okay, wait a No, uh, good in the world. Take a look at all the good in the world that China wants to do and all the money they gave to the University of Pennsylvania. Huh? Over six years, 77 plus million dollars. Why would China give all that money to the University of Pennsylvania where Joe Biden works? And when the University of Pennsylvania made this sweetheart deal with Joe Biden, was this one of the reasons why they did it? Because of Joe's cozy relationship that he's always bragging about with the Chinese. I've spent more time with Xi Jinping, at least before we got out, than any world leader has. I probably spent more time with Xi Jinping, I'm told, than any world leader has because I, I had 24, 25 hours of private meetings with him when I was vice president, traveled 17,000 miles with him. I have spoken and spent more time with Xi Jinping than any other world leader has. I've had hours and hours and hours of meetings and personal conversations with Xi Jinping. Everywhere he goes, including what looks like a nursery school library, he's bragging about that arrangement. 
I never understood why. I think his target audience was not me, not you, but maybe the University of Pennsylvania. Again, $77 million. Now, I don't want to, maybe I'm downplaying the fine work of the Biden Penn Institute, whatever it is, because Joe Biden did once have somebody write an article <laughs> that was posted on the website back in 2018. All right. It's not exactly uh, particularly active. Now, the fake news broke this story, but the fake news is fake. So what do they do right after they break the story? They try to say it's no big deal. Joe Biden's going to be fine. This was some clerical error made by somebody else not named Biden. Take a look. Hallie, aides to President Biden have been conducting an exhaustive search, we are told, of other locations to make sure they've gathered up all the classified documents that went to the wrong place because if it happened once, it could happen again. These classified documents that went to the wrong place, as if the documents went there on their own. The documents just decided that they're going to go to Joe Biden's uh, weird office at the university. Right. It's the documents fault. And then there's this spin. And again, we don't know whether this was anything more than an inadvertent error by whoever was packing the documents yeah as they left the Biden White House. But it's it's significant because it shows that the, the scope of this may be more broad than we first realized. Now it appears there are more classified documents uh, that went astray uh, after Joe Biden left the Obama administration. All right. Went astray like stray cats, right? Just kind of dispersed again on their own. Of course, it's not Joe Biden's responsibility. I want to emphasize again. He got that job in late 2017, early 2018, when he showed up there at the Penn Biden Center, whatever date it was exactly, he was an ex vice president of the United States. And he, by his own admission, did not have access. He said it out loud. I don't have access to uh, classified material. I'm an ex vice president of the United States. This is bad. This is actually really bad for Joe Biden. More on that in a moment. But first, uh, remember, always the hypocrisy and the double standard of the media. That same guy you saw there kind of minimizing this for Joe Biden. He thought Donald Trump, who was authorized to have those documents, by the way, almost killed somebody by having them. These are the kind of documents, Kristen, that you have to go into a special room to look at, that the, the disclosure of which could compromise sources and methods could get people killed. Hey, man, remember, it could be the documents fault, right? The documents could have just decided to show up in Mar-a-Lago. Huh? Huh? Joe Biden busted again. And here's why I personally think he has a real problem. Earlier this week, I actually woke up and it was on my mind. I was like, Joe Biden's going to be the Democrat nominee. They're really going to run him. I can't believe it. It just doesn't. I mean, we could all see he's not up to the job. And if I can see it and you can see it, ambitious Democrats who want to be president, they can see it as well. And I think they've had it up to you know where with this, okay? Uh, first of all, I mean, take a look. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. I was in the, foot, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, in the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. And then we're going to have to use Title IX, Title uh, Eight. Eight, right? Am I right? Yeah, Title Eight, Eight Nine. <laughs> We're going to seize their yachts, their luxury homes, and other ill-begotten gains of Putin's kleptocracy. Uh, uh, yeah, kleptocracy and klep the guys who are the kleptocracies. <laughs> All right. So why would they renominate somebody like this? Eighty years old. He's. This is not good. And he's compromised. And he's compromised. And I believe senior Democrats have noticed this and they're pushing back and they want an alternative. And I think they're going to get one. I always sensed that Joe Biden wasn't going to make it four years. No way. No way. And the denial that we saw yesterday in Mexico, that's always that's still rubbing me the wrong way. There are some moments here that, well, deserve reevaluation. Take a look. And on the news at home, can you explain how classified documents ended up in one of your offices? And should the public have been notified sooner? Well, let me get rid of the easy one first. People know I take classified uh, documents and classified information seriously. When my lawyers were clearing out my office at the University of Pennsylvania, they set up an office for me, secure office in the Capitol, when I, the four years after being vice president, I was a professor at Penn. 
You know, that could be just Joe being imprecise and all over the place, but I think he's being deceitful and deceptive for a reason. He's trying to confuse the issue that a vice president has an office on Capitol Hill, right, when they're vice president. But this is not when he's vice president. He's an ex-vice president, but the office is on Capitol Hill, but not in the Capitol. It's in a building that's in the Capitol Hill neighborhood. He's trying to confuse the issue, and that's what you do sometimes when you're pinned down. Next. They found some documents in a box, in a locked cabinet, or at least a closet. And as soon as they did, they realized there were several classified documents in that box. A locked cabinet or a closet? There's a big difference there. There is. And notice he didn't say the closet was locked. Democrats all over the place are trying to say it was locked, it was locked. He didn't say it was locked. Am I nitpicking here? Yes, but it's important. Next. And they did what they should have done. They immediately called the archives, immediately called the archives, turned them over to the archives. Immediately called the archives after five years, potentially. Those documents could have been there for five years. And the media, they're picking up on this talking point. Oh, he called them right away. They called it. No, years, years just sitting around. And maybe our enemies could get these things, right? Next. I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. This is when I recall all of the lies Joe Biden has told us over the years, starting for me in 1987 when he was running for president. Remember that? <laughs> I mean, just so I don't believe him. And he didn't actually say he didn't know. He said he was surprised. One more. But I don't know what's in the documents. I've my lawyers have not suggested I ask what documents they were. My lawyers have not suggested I ask what documents they were. Wow. He's, his lawyers don't want him to know. Don't ask, Joe. Don't ask at this point. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now what the document. According to CNN, the documents are related to Ukraine, Iran, and UK. And that Ukraine thing, I think it's a problem. And I am willing to bet that Joe Biden will not be the Democrat nominee for president in 2024 because of this and a whole heck of a lot of other things. I'll be right back.